Sheriffe. Hi everybody, I'm Brett. This is Mullen Video on YouTube. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below as new video content is posted weekly on this channel. Now today, I'm using the Panasonic Lumix S5 in Manhattan. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. So I'm in Manhattan and I'm shooting with the Panasonic Lumix S5. I'm looking at different autofocus settings today and I have IBIS set up, I have auto exposure, auto white balance going and I wanted to reassess the vlogging capabilities of this camera. So a video of mine was reposted on the lrumors.com website. They cover uh, usually Panasonic, Sigma and Leica lens and camera news. The video that L Rumors chose to uh, repost was one I had shot maybe about a year ago during the summertime when I used the S5 on the beach and the comments from users were just So I'm filming in 4K 30p. Uh, picture profile I use is the one I always use when I just want a nice out of the box look, and that is the Sin D2 picture profile. Now between Sin D2 and Cinetone on Sony, I've gotta go with the Cinetone profile. I think the skin tones look just a little bit better on the Cinetone, but that doesn't mean the Sin D2 picture profile is bad by any stretch. I think Sin D2 is an amazing picture profile. As a matter of fact, when I owned the S1, I got a lot of mileage out of the Sin D picture profile, especially at corporate events. You know, when a corporate client needed a nice picture very quickly and didn't really want log necessarily or for there to be a comprehensive color grade because oftentimes event recordings are pretty simple in terms of what they're looking for. So I wanted to test the low light now. I've got it set on auto exposure and it's reading me 32,000 ISO. So how is this looking? The dual ISO in the camera hits around 4,000 ISO. The native ISO in the camera is at 640. So 640 is the first, 4000 is the second. And we are way above that. Now it's saying 51,200. So this is pretty, pretty extreme. How does the quality look? Now what I'll probably do is do a little bit of neat video in post just to reduce the noise a little bit to give you an idea about what the image looks like. I never really got to do a low light test with the Panasonic S5, so I wanted to see what that was gonna look like in these sorts of conditions. Because I do have some ambient light around me, there are some street lamps, but I can see that the S5 is struggling to keep up, even with a 3.5 uh, aperture. So aside from all that camera talk, it's really the first nice day to be in New York City in a long time. The weather's nice. It was about 61, 62 degrees today, and it was a great day to be outside. So now that I'm filming at night, I'm definitely starting to see some of the limitations of the S5. Not right now. I mean, it's at 5,000 ISO, and it looks pretty good because if you're familiar with Panasonic cameras, there is a dual ISO in this S5 body, similar to the one in the S1. So far, I really like this picture profile at night. I feel like the camera's doing a really good job. I know for many of the videos that I filmed, people were saying that the S5 can't really be a vlogging cam. I disagree. The out of focus could be better, but right now I'm using this and I'm looking at it and aside from some background pulsing, I think the video looks really nice. It's also very natural looking, very pleasing and very simple to work with. I might do some color correction, maybe bring down the shadows a little bit, maybe work with the midtones, but otherwise it's a really nice image. The audio could be a little bit better. Of course, there's a huge price difference between the S5 and say the Sony a7S III. You know, and something the Panasonic S5 has a leg up on is the photo or image quality with its higher megapixel sensor. So in conclusion, I've got to say working with the S5 is a really nice camera, even for vlogging situations. There really isn't too many negatives and even the autofocus on this camera, while it could be a lot better, 
it's still, it's something you can work with. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you found this video helpful or insightful, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.